Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Well, as we approach the 26th of January, when the official benchmarks of the RTX 3000 line will be launched, we're getting some more leaks. Now, a person on Reddit had posted that they had bought the ASUS Dash F15, uh, which is amazing how they got their hands on it so quickly. They bought it actually from a store in Germany called Case King, paid 2,000 euros, which is $2,400, which is pretty expensive particularly when you consider that over here in the united states in best buy the same laptop is uh, 1450 dollars so we're looking at the specs it comes with an rtx 3070 now that is an 80 watt 3070 and it comes with uh, the uh, i7 11370 h so that's the new 11th gen 4 core 8 thread cpu a 35 watt cpu which to be honest, I don't see the advantage over the upcoming uh, Ryzen 9 5900HS, say for instance, both 35 watts. Now it comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 8 gigabytes is soldered on, and it comes with a 1 terabyte hard drive. And But uh, this user, uh, Heidi23, which I'll put a link in the, you know, in the description if you want to browse it yourself, goes through it, mentioning the scores for, you know, Cinebench, um, R23, Firestrike, and uh, Time Spy. As well as going through some of the uh, the temperatures, and there's a time spy score of eight thousand four hundred and four points. If we look at this stress test, running uh, Ada sixty four, and you know heaven in the benchmark, you can see heaven there in the in the background. We're looking at uh, seemingly the clock rate was running on the GPU between thirteen fifty and fourteen eighty five megahertz, and the GPU was uh, running at around about seventy degrees here. You can see there. And it's, uh, it's at 80 watts. Okay. And the CPU was running at 35 watts. Um, but the PL1 is actually 60 watts. So that's quite quite a high PL1. But it's running at 35 watts under this test. And it did peak at like 96 degrees and settled at 76 degrees. With a clock rate of about 3,200 megahertz. Now looking at Cinebench R23. I highlight the i7 11370H there in blue and green. Now the... Um, most notable thing the single core performance of 1477 i mean that's fantastic you know that's going to be you know pretty much bang on where we're seeing these uh, new ryzen uh, zen 3 uh, chips so uh, that's pretty decent uh multi-core you know it's uh, 6556 points and you only compare that to, to the uh, you know the ryzen 5 4600 h it's not that far behind it's only 14 percent behind yet 33% less core, so that's pretty good performance. And of course, it's single core performance compared to the 9300H. You know, it's we're talking 41% faster, and it's multi core performance on the 9300H. You know, it's a whopping 59% faster. So, you know, for a four core CPU, it is very good, and the temperatures seemed okay. But you know, it's going to be competing against uh, equally as fast single core performance Zen 3, and they'll have more cores. So. Let's have a look at the 3D Mark score. Now, I've combined here the Fire Strike and the uh, Time Spy scores. We've got the, uh, the Time Spy in red and the Fire Strike in, in yellow. Now, I've highlighted again here the uh, 3070 Max Q, uh, 80 watts in blue and green, bank center in the chart. And I've tested, uh, you know, a range. I've actually used all my results here uh, so you can see how it compares. Now, the 3070 Max Q. 80 watts uh, versus my 27 uh, the 2070 max p it's nine percent faster than that and of course that's 115 watt part but you know it's nine percent now the uh, compared to the uh, outgoing 2070 max q it is 21 percent faster so generation to generation we're looking at a 21 percent uh, difference there so that, actually that's not too bad really uh, of course Compared to the uh, the 2070 Super Mac, uh, Max P and the 3060, they're pretty much identical. They're pretty much the same there. Uh, the 3070 Max Q compared to the 3070 Max P, the Max P is 27% uh, uh, faster. And uh, the th actually, the, interestingly, the 3070 Max Q against the 2080 Max Q, it's actually only 11% faster there. So that's not a huge difference there. And to be honest with you, I think getting a 3060 makes much more sense. Look, you know, you're saving you know, $400 here. Uh, granted, you only have 5, 5, 12 gigabyte SSD, but, you know, difference is quite substantial for the same type of performance. So I think, you know, the, NVIDIA's made a mistake here doing an 80 watt 3070. They should just do the 90 watt.
because it cannibalizes into the 3060 market. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I certainly, you know, I would like them, the manufacturers, to, to you know, indicate what wattage we are getting on these GPUs. It'll make our lives so much easier. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.